Hey everyone, um, I'm actually going to upload two videos today. The first one was my makeup tutorial and this one, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. Probably a little bit of everything because I haven't done a talking one in a couple days and I just thought it would be fun. Excuse my dog barking if you can hear it. I decided to start filming in my bedroom because I was tired of bringing my makeup to the studio when I could just bring it in here or do it in here. Um... I really just, you know, I've had a hard week this week, I'll say. It's hard when you are friends with somebody and they stab you in the back, you know? It's like you are such, you know, you think that this person is your good friend and you can count on them for anything and then all of a sudden they're just gone. They just block you, block your number, block you on Facebook, block you on Twitter. I don't know what it is with girls. It's like, I, I get like bullied by every single girl that I know. Like, maybe I should just stick to just hanging out with my husband and my son. Because seriously, like what is up with that? Um, you know, I am a very loyal person and I take friendship very serious as well as any other relationship and that friendship I took very seriously and I got stabbed in the back so thank you very much for that you know who you are um so I just wanted to say for all of you that do have friends that you may think that they're your best friend or think that, you know, they're going to be there for you, just be careful who you trust. Like I always say, family is going to help you no matter what. So family, I, you know, I mean, there are, sometimes you have bad people in your family. I'm not denying that, but you know that you can usually trust your family more than you'd be able to trust anybody else. And, you know, I do believe in karma. And I believe that karma is going to come back ten times worse than, you know, what, what, what has happened to me with all these people and, you know, all this drama. First of all, I'm 26 years old. I do not need to be having drama. Like, I'm not in high school anymore. I'm not in junior high. I'm, I'm not fighting over boys. Like, we are grown-ups. We are adults. We have children. Like, is that what we want to teach our children? Because I don't want to teach my son that. I want to teach him that when he has a friend, he should cherish that friend. Maybe, maybe nowadays, you know, relationships just aren't really the same as they used to be. Um, you know, I feel like back in like, I don't know, probably 50, 60 years ago, relationships were very important and people cherished them and really cared about them and now it's just kind of like well if I lose a friend I lose a friend oh well or you know people are getting divorced left and right sorry that's the house phone excuse that um seriously right in the middle of my video um Anyway, so I just want to say that it's just kind of annoying that, you know, I went out of my way to be a good friend to somebody and then got blocked from everything. <laughs> it's actually quite funny because that just shows me that no matter what age you are, you can actually be completely immature. Um, so, you know, that's, it's just hilarious. Um, I do want to say that thank you to everybody who have been who has been um, Snapchatting me. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I love like, you know, reading all the messages I get and sending snaps back and forth, watching your stories and all this other stuff. It's a lot of fun. I know that it's not that many people, but I mean, I have at least 10 or 15 people that I get to snap with, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to go to Disney sometime this week with my son and we can you know, show you some Snapchats of, you know, some of the rides and some of the cool things. He loves Disney. And obviously I do too. 
Um, it's happiest place on earth, right? Um, so just, you know, keep an eye out for that. If you are one of the people that does follow me on Snapchat, um, I will again, leave the links for all of my sites down below. Like I always do. Um, and I will make sure that you guys have access to all of them. So if you want to follow me on Twitter and, or Instagram or whatever it may be, you can, um, if you want to follow my photography page, that would be cool too. Um, my photography Instagram is at my little pieces of love. So just go to that um, and you'll see a lot of my photography and that's a lot more of my personal photos. The makeup one is just really, you know, my makeup for this little show that I have going on here, whatever I wanna, it's not even really a show. There's not even that many people that watch it. I mean, there's a good amount, but like not like thousands. I wish it was thousands. Eventually I'll get there, right? Maybe after I do like 50 videos, I'll get like a thousand people. Or maybe my top, maybe I'm just boring. You guys think I'm boring? Oh god. Oh, what a week. You have no idea. It's been terrible. My son had a fever yesterday of like 103, just out of nowhere. My husband is sick now. I was sick two days ago. Who knows who gave it to who or who got it? Um, I'm assuming that, uh, you know, we probably got it from going out somewhere or something or from being, a, I was in the hospital a few days ago. Um, I'm assuming maybe that's, you know, how we all got sick. I mean, I hope it's not, but, oh, because then it could be something bad. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so I want to give you a few tips about makeup that I remember from when I went to Aveda. Also, a few tips about hair. This is going to be a not too long video. I'm going to just go for like five more minutes. Um, some tips about makeup. Number one, do not pump your mascara. When I see people going like this, I'm going to do it with this because I don't use this eyelash gel just to show you. When I see people going like this to their mascara, oh my gosh, I just want to punch them. When you do that, you are getting air in there. And that air, in turn, is going to turn into clumps. So if you're always putting mascara on, and it's really clumpy, and it's just not, like, your eyelashes are, like, clumping together really bad, and you can't separate them, that is because you pump your mascara. So don't do that. Um, it's just, I don't know why, but that's just how it works. And it's just not a good idea because it also is going to let more and more bacteria in there. The more air that gets in there, the worse. The, or whatever. I don't even know if I, meant, I should have said that, but whatever. Um, number two. When you are doing your eyebrows, ladies, please, please, please. Stop shaving your eyebrows off, okay? And I'm not talking about women who do not have eyebrows or, you know, anything like that. Um, I have a friend that, you know, draws them on. I have, my mom draws them on because they're very thin. Every, we all fill in our eyebrows. My grandmother had hers tattooed on. I think, um, I, I know a few people actually that got their eyebrows tattooed. But when you're like drawing and it seriously looks like a Sharpie drew your eyebrows, please stop doing that. Please stop. It's not cute. I'm just helping you. I'm just trying to save you from being left out. I mean, my eyebrows aren't perfect and I'm not perfect. My makeup isn't perfect, especially today because my bronzer broke and I look like I have bruises on my cheeks, but that's okay. Um. Anyway, so, yeah, it looks like I have bruises on the sides of my cheeks. It was my favorite bronzer. Hopefully, e.l.f. still sells it, because if they don't, I'm going to be so sad. Um, another thing is, I know that some of you want to have bigger lips, and you want that Kylie Jenner lip thing, right? Be happy with the way your lips are. 
because it really does look kind of funny when you have like like these are this is actually like how big my lips are like i'm i do not you you can watch my tutorials i do not draw outside of my lip line um if you look like That, the, that's actually like my lips. I don't go outside, but it looks very funny when, especially with like pink. If it's a dark color, you can get away with it a little bit better, but when it's pink and you're like way up here, like almost your nose or something, like let's not do that. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, but it just looks really funny. Um, I don't know why everybody's so obsessed with making their lips look huge like is it I, like I don't is it a new trend I'm like really behind on the trends because I'm like a very different kind type of person I don't really follow the trends like I still wear like clothes that I've had since I was like 15 and stuff like that so yeah I, I don't know if that I guess it's because it's Kylie Jenner maybe I don't know um she is very pretty though um Although I will say that Courtney is my favorite. She is so awesome. I'm telling you. <laughs> I w I've been watching <laughs> Courtney and Kim take Miami. And I'm crack I've been cracking up because <laughs> she actually poured a whole thing of breast milk on Chloe. And I thought it was hilarious because, you know, it's breast milk and you're getting it thrown on you. Now it's natural, but if you know somebody threw their breast milk on me i'd be kind of grossed out um you know i i'm very i would breastfeed somebody else's baby if you know there was an emergency or anything like that which actually i saw an article um this police woman which i want i, I don't know her name but if she were to watch this video i want to say that i am so grateful that you are the kind of person that would find a baby and breastfeed them even though they aren't your own um there are a lot of people that think that's weird but really back before formula was made we had wet nurses and they fed other people's babies so that they could stay alive they weren't given cow's milk you know i think so anyways um so this police woman they found an abandoned baby and of course the baby's going to be hungry and you see her in her police uniform and she's breastfeeding the baby and i was like this is amazing. It's amazing that she is willing to do this even though it's not her child. Um, it takes a lot of love and, you know, it takes a lot of love to do that. I, I can't think of any other word. Like, she, she's just amazing. She's like a hero, a definite hero. Uh, she probably saved that baby's life and that's great. I'm so happy and I hope that that baby finds a great family um, I hope that whoever left the baby there gets found and put in prison because you do not belong to be walking around free and just like leaving a baby to die. Like that kind of goes with my video about abortions. Like obviously that person probably has some kind of problem or something because like I would never have a baby. Well, first of all, how do you even like have a baby? Like, you know, they like find them in toilets and stuff sometimes. Like, how do you even do that? Like, wouldn't you like bleed to death? I don't know. But anyways, I just want to say to her that you are a hero and you deserve everything in the world. And I hope that God blesses you with amazing things. And I hope that that baby finds a, an amazing family. Um... And then I was going to talk about my photography a little bit. I had two sessions yesterday and I was so tired because I was so sick the night before. Um, but I got to meet some cute little boys and tomorrow I have a photo shoot. Um, so, you know, I... For photos, one thing that I want to kind of tell people is it's okay, it's good to match colors. Like if you all want to wear like a certain shirt, I wouldn't say wear the same color blue. You know what I mean? But if you all want to wear blues, are fine. But wearing the same exact shirt, like every single person is wearing a white shirt that looks exactly the same. Let's stop that trend. Like I'm going to show you this picture.
This is a picture of me, my mom, my sister, my brother, my son, my niece, and myself. Now, we were all wearing blue. Somehow my son just happened to have a shirt that matched my brother. But, um, like that looks good, you know? But when everybody is matching exactly the same, and I'm sure that, like, I actually have photos of my sister and I when we were younger. Our, gram my, our great grandmother bought us some outfits in Las Vegas. They were exact same outfits. And I think I'm wearing like some round sunglasses like this. And like I thought it was like the coolest thing ever because we were going on an airplane by ourselves and all this stuff. Um, you know, because back then, like you could, when you were young, you could fly and they would supervise you and all this stuff. And it was really cool. And I just have like this look on my face like I'm so cool and I'm not. <laughs> it's just really funny. Um, I've been using my photography lights without the umbrellas lately because the umbrellas are making it way too dark. Look at this. Look how bright that is. So I have to put it like way far away. Um, I put the umbrellas on and it was a little bit too dark so I thought it would be too dark for you guys while you are watching me do the, like my makeup tutorials and stuff so I've been taking those off. Um, and I've been having a lot of fun lately. Like I've been like this week alone I've gotten so many emails for photo sessions I'm so surprised like I didn't think because last month it was pretty slow for me but this month I've had like already I would say 10 to 15 people in this last week alone writing me asking if they could book a session which I'm so grateful for um it's just a little side job but I'm so grateful for it and um I'm happy I love my camera I can't wait until I get to get the next one up I mean, this one was already like $700. The one that I want is like $1,300 or $1,800, something like that. So I'm hoping that I'm going to get it soon. Um, but who knows? Maybe I won't. I got to ask my husband. Maybe he'll let me. We'll see. Not that he doesn't let me do things, but, you know, if we can afford it, I'm going to get the next one up. My camera is awesome, though, because it has, it's like 24 point something megapixels. And it is like it makes the images really really clear um and the video on it is really good that's what i've been using for all my videos it's a sony um a5100 and it's a really good camera so i would suggest like if you want a camera um if for be like a beginner photographer this is a good one i had the a5000 and I upgraded it to the next one because when I had bought it, the price for the A5000 was pretty much the same. It went down, so the price of the A5100 went down, and I was able to switch them out because it had only been like two weeks, so I got the better camera. So anyways, that's a good one. Or even like even the A5000 is really good. Like if you're somebody who just does videos on YouTube or, you know, and you just want like a camera to film with. I don't know what all of you guys use, but the Sony cameras are really, really good and easy, very easy to use. So I would definitely check those out. Um, I've never really used a Canon, but I know that they're bulky and heavy. My camera is extremely small. Um, people actually don't even think it's a prof professional camera because it's so small, but it is. So, you know, I hope that you guys if any of you check it out, you like it. If you have any questions about it, leave it down below. I'm going to cut this off because we're getting to 20 minutes. And I'm trying to keep them all to 20 minutes if I can. Um, number one, please subscribe. Number two, find me on Twitter and Instagram. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me if you want another makeup tutorial. It seems like those are a little bit more popular. Um, and thank you all for watching. I love everyone that has subscribed, everybody that watches, everybody that has emailed me, everybody that has been talking to me about this show lately. So, thank you guys. You're the best. Have a good day.